And the next question is from Luke Varelis. Sorry if I butchered your name, man. Uh, I'll just call you Luke V. So your question is, does thyroid function return to normal once low ferritin is corrected back into optimal range? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. So the short answer is, it can. However, optimal thyroid health is contingent on several factors more than ferritin. There's also zinc, vitamin D, iodine, selenium, also along with ferritin. So say if you're a patient that has low iron, you have iron deficiency, uh, whatever reason it may be, maybe it's celiac disease, malabsorption, maybe it's gastric bypass, maybe you're a female and you have heavy menses and your iron is low. Correcting that iron can improve your T3, T4 function because the literature shows that iron deficiency can actually cause decreases in circulating free T3 and circulating free T4. Now, therefore, if your hypothyroidism is due to deficiencies in any of those said nutrients and optimizing and or correcting those deficiencies comes into play, sure, you can improve your thyroid function. Now, however, if you do have full-blown overt hypothyroidism, then even correcting these deficiencies most likely won't correct your thyroid disease. However, it will improve and or help optimize your thyroid hormone replacement protocol. Um, so the real question is, or the next question is, now, why does ferritin play a role in hypothyroidism itself? Well, first, clinical overt hypothyroidism re results in a high TSH, this thyroid stimulating hormone. As TSH elevates, so does the development of inflammatory cytokines, which these actually help, these actually deplete antioxidants within the body. Now, we know that ferritin actually uh, acts as sort of an antioxidant and or has some antioxidant properties itself. Therefore, therefore the introduction of ferritin in thyroid replacement therapy does help downregulate the pro-inflammatory cytokines from an elevated TSH standpoint. So between the two, Suppressing, keeping the TSH down low, keeping the ferritin, selenium, iron, uh, vitamin D, iodine, keeping all that optimized does help optimize your thyroid replacement therapy, but it doesn't necessarily constitute an actual thyroid fix per se. Hope that answers your questions. Thanks, y'all. And now, do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.